uh, we're heading down to the city of Pittsburgh uh, to look at a bus. The, uh, the bus we're looking at uh, was owned by a guy that passed away about a year or so ago. Apparently like 10 or 11 years ago, I put a, a note on the window of the car saying, if you ever need parts or service, call me. So uh, 10 years later, his wife is going through the stuff and uh, found that note and she called me. So the bus is not listed for sale anywhere yet and we are gonna go look at it. Here we go. Okay, we're driving, what is this thing right now? Right now we're driving in the Doka from Poland. And this will be his first real, uh, real road trip and it might break down on the way. It's gonna be a fun one. Well, it says we're doing 60 on here. On the GPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Giving it all she's got. Pedals on the floor. You're the first person to tell me that. Greg, can you roll down the back window? Smoking. I was doing 60 miles per hour there. I'm pretty proud of that. I think she's smoking. Is it like a lunch smoke? Or like a yeah, what color is the smoke? Something profound. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to navigate here. How are those mirrors doing for you? Oh, there sucks. But it's all horrible. What do you see? I see a van again. Oh. I mean, if they queered, we queer. Probably. What do we got oh. here, Cindy? It looks, it looks great. It smells very clean, like it has been shampooed recently. It does smell clean. We've got it definitely, here. it's definitely been cleaned up. So we've got some rear speakers coming down from the speaker wires there. Tell us the story, Cindy. Um, my husband purchased the van again from a man he had met um, on his truck route, and it had 55,490 original miles whenever my husband purchased it, and we're at 144,781, I think. What year did he buy it? Uh, 1999, May of 99. Okay. So you've had it for 23 years at least. Right. And he just basically used it for fishing and hunting. And I yeah. can drive it this, this stick. <laughs> yeah. Good? Action! There's an engine in there. There's an engine. <laughs> so airflow meter boots off. No air conditioning. Um, okay, say all the things they have. It's like a table. See what we're looking at. The key on? Yeah, keys on. Fuel pumpage. Off. Fuel pump Is that a fuel pump? Too? Oh yeah, sound okay. It's quiet. You good? Yeah, go for it. Here. Stop. Yeah, I got some go juice. Uh, it didn't start. I guess we'll have to do more than nothing. Oh, it smells like fuel. Ah, here's the fuel. There's something's leaking underneath. Yeah, there's a, that's a fuel leak. Oh. Leaking fuel. Oh, yeah. That's fuel, though. We're going to look that bike <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Firewall fitting. Coming out. Oh, it's the firewall fitting. It just broke? Yeah. Right here, this that firewall car would have, fitting. That is car would have caught on fire so that's right now. the one that burns cars down. It's dripping onto the starter. Yeah. Well, we're done. Look at this. We've got a thermostat housing that's about ready to break through. Yeah. See that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That so that's, build pressure. that's catastrophic. That's not build pressure. Right? I'm looking at, uh, you know, flakage on the head. Um, okay. Which is, it? yeah, sure. But what's what's all this moisture? Uh, that's been leaking for a long time. It's fuel from this rail. Well, that's horrible too. Why else would, what, why else would there be grease there? So that's you know? leaking onto the exhaust. The exhaust or looks... Or it could be... No, it's fuel, you're right, because this is all this paint's coming off. Oh, she's just riddled with... It's fuel lines. Yeah. 
injectors. Uh, they said they put a new ignition onto it. This new ignition? No, no, no. Probably ignition switch ignition up front. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So that's. Uh, I don't. I don't know about getting her going today without Wait, bringing. What year is this? Eighty six. New water pump. Yeah. To see market. That? Alternator. Yeah. Original power steering pump. Yeah. A little leaky, but overall fairly clean. What's what's this? What is this material? That's just like some where, add on. How does that get? Look, no, this is peeling. This is all yeah. fuel over here. Yeah. What do you think, Dan? Uh, you know, I think I, I wouldn't want to do just one fuel line or just one coolant hose. I would want to do all of them at once. That's me. Uh, it depends what you want to do with it. If yeah. To, if you want to sell a, it. Right. So that's the thing. If you want to sell it, you don't have to do anything. Right. You just have to be realistic about its value. But if you sell it, then somebody's going to want to drive it. And then that's yeah, but ruin the thing is the it. value difference between it running and not running is 70%. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, think so you, I don't think you sell it as a... As yeah. a driver, you sell it as is. But, this is a, but as a project, it's 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 a project. When the engine doesn't work, it's a project. And yeah. the engine doesn't work because we can't start We it. bought one like this. See, it's... he comes in neat clothes so he doesn't have there. to crawl in the ground. This is what he does. Right. So did I. You learned. <laughs> He's actually you should stuck. meet, you should you meet our friend radio. Ben. This yeah. is our head of security. <laughs> <laughs> when we tell people how much it costs to fix these things, sometimes they get violent. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a good-looking boss. It's got a dent up here. And this looks to be painted at some point, the front. The rest of this is very straight, very original paint. Hey, do that sliding door, it feels so nice. Never stored outside. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's really, really, really good. It locks open because it's a late model. Yeah, it works properly. Really no rust. It's got Mooney hubcaps. It's missing the Eshwa in there, yeah. We just put a new battery in it. And uh, this battery is no good from 8 of 10. It's a passenger van. It's got a middle seat. Middle seat's chilling over there. It's got tires. They are from? They're not correct. What year? These are from the year 2000. Okay, so they're, wow, they're from two, the year 2000? It's a 6-0. So that's from the last year. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. Okay, so we've been looking over this uh, bus with Cindy and it's really clean. It's got a great history. It's got a great story. It was her husband's. They've had it for about 23, 24 years. Um, it's in great shape. It honestly is about as rust-free as they get, but it's an 86 passenger van, which is not the most desirable set of options. Um, we pulled it out to try to fire it up and came prepared to do some work on it and it immediately leaked all of its gasoline out. It has the, uh, the, cro the fuel line fitting is broken and the gas is coming out, so it's not safe for us to proceed. Uh, it probably would start. Honestly, I really think it would. It was getting good fuel pumpage and stuff, uh, but it has some oil leaks under the engine. It looks like some coolant leaks too. The cooling system needs gone through. The fuel system needs redone. But the car is good. There's a good car here and there's the right car for someone. Is that someone you? I don't know. Maybe it is. It's a four speed, non-AC, 140-ish thousand miles, uh, two one, power steering. It's a really nice car. It might be for so, you. So starting at this corner, it's got non-power mirrors and they're, you know, the floppies, but it's such a nice clean car. It does need tires. We checked the date code and these to be, these are 23 years old. But, you know, look at that. That is just so nice. It's got a pa factory period correct radio. Everything in here is just so nice. Manual windows. The door cards aren't all chewed up. We just put a brand new battery in it. There is some rust under the, under the foot wells here, but they don't look ruined. Um, you know, even the headliner. Look at how nice the headliner is in this thing. Non-AC bus. And then you look underneath and you've got just clean as can be. Really nice, really, really nice car. This is not a typical Western PA car. There's no seam rust, all the original undercoating. It's really good, but I'm seeing some leakage right there. That could be some of the fuel leakage. That could be a power steering leak. Back here, we've got the old tires again. They're mismatched to rear to front. This door, it needs an echelon here, but it opens so smooth. That is as good as they get. Uh, brand new battery, blue interior, 
This seat does not fold into a bed. Uh, the middle seat is in great shape. It's out of the car right now. The stupid little rear speakers, these bad boys, have been just wired into some functional stuff so you can listen to your stereo. It's all of these. Even the roof paint is in good shape, which is atypical for these. Very little seam rust. It's really good, but you know, it is missing the uh, it is missing the rear cushion here. And if we look underneath, ah, she's a little bit greasy. But it's pretty good. It's got oil in it. The oil's clean. This side is straight as an arrow. Everything's pretty good. Seat in. Look at it. It's beautiful. How did you find me? Um, whenever my husband was fishing one day, he came home and said that this man from the Pittsburgh Vanagon Club had left a sheet of paper with his name and number on, and it turned out to be Craig. Fifteen years ago. Yeah. Well, at least 15, probably 20 years, a long time ago. Well, that's wild. Craig's been doing mannequins since before they were cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, they were not cool then. Oh, no. So, so whenever I heard your voice, I'm like, all right. Yeah. It's a legitimate and he's, number. And he's still I'm real. Friend. I'm still hooked on these things. Anyway, guys, it's been a fun adventure. We're hoping we can find a home for Cindy's bus. And uh, yes, anybody interested, contact yeah. me, please. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure that it, it lives on. Look at this lovely Cheers. grommet. <laughs> See you, Cindy. Street, Nina. This is the, the steepest road. street in the world. <laughs> In a quarter of a mile, turn left. She's got this. She got it. People on bicycles oh, do that. We're gonna get hit by a school bus now. School bus is